Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm going to share with you a new cleanser that I added to my skincare routine and it's this Badger Unscented Face Cleansing Oil for Sensitive Skin. And I started this um, new method at the start of the year, uh, January 2nd to be exact. Um, I was actually the first customer of this really nice um, natural beauty store that I discovered in Greenpoint, Brooklyn. And I'll leave down uh, the uh, store owner's information, Olga, I was trying to remember her name. Such a lovely lady and really did take her time to go over some of the products that I was interested in and lo and behold, um, got my hands on this Badger Unscented Face Cleansing Oil. So as mentioned, make sure that you do link down below to her shop and also the website which carries a multitude of face cleansers, uh, moisturizers, and even makeup and perfumes and colognes as well. So if that is something that you're interested in, I'm sure that you'll be able to find find something that you're looking for at the Brooklyn Groove store. Now, um, as mentioned, at the start of the year, I did pick up a few um, items from the store, and I picked this uh, cleansing oil, which I was looking into for a couple of years now, and when I first tried this, I tried with coconut oil and completely broke out my skin, so I was a little hesitant into going back and revisiting this method, but I do find that coconut oil works best for me just for my eye area, but for the rest of my skin is not having it. So looking into some of the methods that are out there, some of the mixes of oils that are out there and easily accessible. I decided to just look into this new method, especially I'm hearing so many people jumping into the bandwagon of face cleansers and face cleansing oils to remove makeup and so forth. I said, let me see what is, what's all this hype about and really do this the right way. So when I came across this oil, I looked at some of the ingredients which are sunflower oil, olive oil, castor oil, apricot oil, sunflower, vitamin E, and calendula extract, which are all certified organic. So so I look knowing about sunflower oil and also castor oil which is very cleansing I was a little hesitant because I was saying to myself hmm, my face is definitely going to break out because at least in my experience castor oil tends to pull out a lot of um, you know bad things on my skin but I did think as well it would be a good thing being mixed in with other oils to use as a cleansing um, oil so basically there are three um, steps that you have to take in order for you to do this effectively and the first step is uh, to apply three to four pumps of oil to clean dry palms and rub your hands together and massage onto dry face in a circular motion Repeat until skin is covered completely with oil and use caution around your eye area. So what I do is that I just first start with my face, which is the largest part of my face, of course. And then I leave the eye area, which tends to have mascara and also... Um, eyeshadow I just make sure that I leave that for last because I really don't want to spread all that on my face and then the second step is using a wet warm washcloth gently wipe oil from your skin to remove dirt makeup and grime from your pores so you may say to yourself what is the oil cleansing method so let's get into that a little bit the oil cleansing method is just that you are basically replenishing oil that you may be stripping off your skin um, with harsh chemicals or harsh cleansers that you may be using at least for my case I'm using a gel based cleanser that I think is um, causing a little bit of irritation and dryness on my skin and overall my skin is dry and very sensitive so I have to be very careful with the type of cleansers that I use to make sure they aren't stripping my skin. With the oils I do find that it does cleanses my skin as well as replenishes um, some of the oils that I may be stripping from my skin. Also, if you deal with oily skin or if you have acne prone skin, you may say to yourself, hmm, I don't know if I want to deal with oil for my skin. But believe it or not, this is the best method for those type of people who deal with acne or oily skin because if you think about it, your skin is pretty much trying to overcompensate for all that stripping chemicals or, you know, dry pimple on the spot things that we may use may over dry the skin. So again, using an oil based cleanser is ideal to help bring Bring balance to your skin. So that is what the oil cleansing method does and if you want to learn more about that make sure to visit the blog which goes a little bit more into detail as to how I cleanse my skin with the with this oil using this method described here as well as some of the benefits of the oil cleansing method and some sources that you can reference to as well. And the third step for um, 
Oh, and before I go into the third step, you want to make sure that you have some cleansing towels that are not going to irritate your skin. I find that some of the methods that I did use, and I didn't go out and just buy some towels, I just took an old towel and I cut it into pieces and I used that as face towels. And I also did combine them with some other face towels that I had did have lying around but I do find that they are a little bit too harsh for my skin and my skin tends to get a little bit too dry um, when I use those towels so when I did some research the other day I was looking into some organic based um, cloths or even some muslin cloths that are a little bit more um, sensitive for the skin so I'm going to look further into that and I'll also update uh, the blog once I do purchase them and review and see how that works for me but again another thing that you want to look into as well using towels is you always have to have some clean towels handy so if you have access to a, a washer at home great for you even for me that I do have one I don't find that I always have some clean towels handy so that is kind of a little con to this method so you always want to make sure that you have clean towels at hand as well as some towels that may be a, a group more agreeable to your skin and won't be too harsh when, when you you are drying out your skin so basically the method is you take the towels you put them under slightly hot water not too hot water because of course you don't want to wet your face and then you let that run over the water once you massage the oil into your face you let it sit for a couple of minutes you grab the towel put it over your face and just let it sit on your face and let that steam just open your pores and help loosen up any makeup and, or grime that you may have on your skin once that's done you take the towel and then you rub it over your face it's also very beneficial for you to help balance on um, your skin as mentioned I find that a lot of people don't like to use um, cleansers once they use the oil cleansing method but I don't know I feel that my skin still has a lot of dirt on it so I just follow up with my Michael Todd cleanser which is an oil based uh, honey and oatmeal cleanser and for me at least for now my skin is uh, reacting to this a little bit too much so I'm gonna go to a, a more um, moisture cream based um, cleanser for my skin but it's definitely one of my favorites and I've been using it for a very long time um, but once I do the oil cleansing method, I follow up with that cleanser and then with a little bit of rose water as a toner and my moisturizer and under eye cream. So um, I find that overall when I use it on the days that I don't have makeup, my skin reacts to it a little bit more. So as a makeup remover, I really like it. I don't wear makeup too much. So using this every single day really won't be too ideal for me. So I do use it on those days that I use makeup. I am finding that at the end of the day on my no makeup days, maybe on a Saturday or a Sunday, I like to use the oil cleansing method just to use that as a treatment as well as take off any, you know, dirt that I may have accumulated throughout the day even if I don't wear any makeup. So definitely one of my favorites, something that I do recommend if you are looking for other methods um, to skincare and also look into other methods to help you improve your skin as well if you're having troublesome skin or oil overly oily skin definitely something that you may want to check out so again make sure that you subscribe below and also like the video if it was something beneficial for you and don't forget to link down below for my other social media accounts as well as link to the blog that will go into a little bit more into the tutorial and how I use this day to day so again thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day bye